star drive and orbital electrons. Electrons cannot orbit a nuclear core whilst being detached. Their orbits can, however, be oval. Often the circling electrons are compared to planets circling the Sun or our moon circling Earth. This is Horst Menor, and here's why. Take our moon, for instance. The moon is made from a belt of debris left over from the impact of a foreign object with Earth. Impact, debris, belt of debris. Belt of debris. Um, we know that due to an imbalance between gravity and centripetal force, the debris between Earth and the Goldilocks zone has plummeted down to Earth. So this is the Goldilocks zone and everything inside that zone plums to Earth. Things outside, they get slung into space. Um, the limited matter remaining in the cold lock zone has tiny variations in speed, so after some time they have caught up with each other, thus creating the moon. These things have speed variations. There you go, they cluster together, circling our Earth, and finally create our moon. Um, so the matter our moon is made of was already circling in the perfect balance between push and pull. Heavenly bodies often have oval orbits, but over time they either move inwards or outwards. In average, our moon separates itself from us at a rate of about one meter a year. Every satellite or space station orbiting our planet needs to be put back into the right orbit now and then to prevent it from burning in our atmosphere or being hurled into space. Um, now you now imagine an electron circling a nuclear core. Circling that core close to twice the speed of light, orbiting many times per millisecond, getting a beating from every single graviton passing by, century after century after century. I can assure you it will not remain in orbit for long if it is detached. Never ever again think an electron free floats in orbit. Here you can see how it really works. This is what scientists will want to believe, electrons free floating and some glue holding their protons and neutrons together. While in reality an atom is a uh, crystal and uh, the lamp quarks form a crystal and these are rotating. So again this model I made earlier you can recognize here. And if this one goes counterclockwise, that one goes clockwise, counterclockwise and clockwise, because else they would interfere with each other. And that's uh, a part of Pauli, of course. 